end of the world here on Beyond Science, and I know it's kind of depressing, but let's continue that discussion. This story about a mysterious planet that some say is supposed to obliterate Earth in October has been a hot topic in basically all the media outlets. Apparently, this all started from a book written by David Mead, who in his bio is said to be a research scientist, and the book is called Planet X, the 2017 Arrival. And it claims that a dark star smaller than our sun, which hosts seven orbiting bodies, some smaller than our moon and a couple of them larger than our Earth, is currently racing towards our solar system. And one of those seven orbiting bodies is supposed to be Nibiru, or what is commonly known as Planet X. And Mead says it will collide with Earth in October of 2017, effectively ending the human race. Now, if the name Nibiru sounds familiar, it's because it was supposed to have collided with Earth back in 2012, and it was also in the Star Trek movie Into Darkness. According to Mead, the evidence to support this is overwhelming. He says there are 40 volcanoes erupting at the same time on Earth right now. Earthquakes have dramatically increased, both in number and intensity. The elite are frantically building underground safety bunkers and the public is being kept in the dark deliberately to avoid panic. And he says he's basically just waiting for the fat lady to sing. Of course, the first question that comes to mind is, okay, if this is really a thing and a planet killer is heading for Earth, how come NASA or anyone else looking up at the sky all the time is not going all crazy over this? According to Mead, the reason why we can't see Nibiru is because of the angle that is approaching Earth. It makes it really difficult to see. He wrote in a piece for Planet X News that this system is of course not aligned with our solar system ecliptic, but it's coming to us from an oblique angle and toward our southern pole. This makes observations difficult unless you're flying at a high altitude over South America with an excellent camera. Now, this isn't just some random doomsday scenario believed by a few people. According to the Washington Post, there are around 2 million websites devoted to what happens when Nibiru meets Earth. But if you are a bit worried about never being able to go trick-or-treating again, just have a chat with NASA because the guys there think this is all just an internet hoax. According to NASA astrophysicist David Morrison, there are no pictures or astronomical observations of Nibiru, and a planet nine months away from crashing into Earth cruising within the inner solar system would be visible to the naked eye. So basically, no one could hide Nibiru if it actually existed and is heading towards us. And although most scientists do believe that Planet X indeed does exist, even though no one has ever seen it, they say that it will never even come remotely close to Earth. And if a planet of that magnitude does get reasonably near us, our moon will be stripped away completely due to its gravitational pull. Like I mentioned in the previous video, I do believe that there is a huge possibility that eventually a huge asteroid or something could slam into our planet and maybe that's it for us. But I just can't buy this story that it's going to be this October and it's going to be Nibiru. I mean, I don't have a super telescope hidden in my house or anything, so I'm not saying this because I've looked and I don't see any rogue star hitting our way, but there are some stories that you read and it's just a bit too conspiracy theory-ish with really not much substance. I mean, I absolutely do believe that there are those who can prophesize the future, but this sounds a little too L. Ron Hubbard to me. Of course, that's just my opinion. Feel free to disagree and I'll definitely upload a huge apology if sometime in October I look up and see a massive planet crashing towards us but I don't know I think we're gonna be okay. Next up there is now a new theory as to how the moon was created. If you guys have watched my previous videos about the moon you may already know that there have been a lot of theories about the moon's creation. Some say the moon was created by the clash of planets. Some say it was a rogue object captured by the earth's gravitational pull and some even believe the moon was man-made. But there is now a new theory brought forth by a Israeli scientists that the moon was actually formed due to multiple collisions to an early Earth that made a bunch of smaller moons and they eventually merged together to create the moon that we have now. If true, this means that the moon wasn't just created in an instant due to clashing planets, but instead created over millions of years. To go into detail on how this theory was developed, three Israeli scientists were researching the big collision theory. You know, the one that says that the moon was created when the Earth was hit by something the size of Mars and a chunk of it broke off and formed the moon. The three researchers ran simulations to test the big collision theory and found that the impact of Earth hitting other large bodies actually produced smaller disks that formed moonlets. The moonlets then experienced about 20 more collisions then fused to become the moon that we know of today. And this would make more sense than the big collision theory because smaller repeated impacts that formed the moon after millions of years makes more sense than a single huge punch creating the moon in an instant. So this is yet another theory about the creation of the moon, which let's be honest here, we really have no idea, no absolute idea how it was created. So I'm going to stick to my original theory about the moon's creation. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my earlier video about the moon. It's in the description box below. So guys, in the comments, let me know what you think about this new theory. How do you think the moon was created? Also, do you believe that a rogue planet is going to crash into us in October and that's going to be it? And guys, I talk about a lot of things that science can't explain, things that conventional knowledge would tell us is impossible, and yet they exist anyway. There are too many of these things to ignore. Anyone open-minded can see that there is more to this universe than what is currently believed. I really wanted to go deeper into this stuff. I want to explore more and do more research, and I want to give you guys more cool facts. 
As some of you may know, I just got the opportunity to get a whole team of researchers by doing a magazine. This lets me dive deeper into these mysteries, and it also lets me give you guys more facts, more proof, and more mysteries. And this is all possible because you, well, you guys watch this channel, so thank you all so much. Seriously, without you, none of this would even be happening, and that's why I wanted to take this opportunity and ask you, what do you want me and my team to investigate further? I've asked you this question before, and your replies have been, well, pretty surprising. For instance, I had no idea how many of you guys wanted to know more about aliens. So tell me more. What do you want more details on? Leave it in the comments below. And also, I want to take this opportunity to, again, say thank you guys so much. The support that we have gotten over at Thunderclap has been absolutely inspiring. We now have almost a million social reach on launch day. And I am just totally humbled by you guys and your belief in this mission. And if you still want to be part of this campaign, the links are in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. See you later. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike Chen. We've been talking a lot about the end of the world here on Beyond Science, and I know it's kind of depressing, but let's continue that discussion. This story about a mysterious planet that some say is supposed to obliterate Earth in October has been a hot topic in basically all the media outlets. Apparently, this all started from a book written by David Mead, who in his bio is said to be a research scientist, and the book is called Planet X, the 2017 Arrival. And it claims that a dark star smaller than our sun, which hosts seven orbiting bodies, some smaller than our moon, and a couple of them larger than our Earth is currently racing towards our solar system. And one of those seven orbiting bodies is supposed to be Nibiru, or what is commonly known as Planet X. And Mead says it will collide with Earth in October of 2017, effectively ending the human race. Now, if the name Nibiru sounds familiar, it's because it was supposed to have collided with Earth back in 2012, 